What it do, baby? So I did a video a few months ago where I read Got7 Imagines and fan fiction that people on Tumblr have written. And since then, I was thinking of what other groups I could do that kind of video for in the future. And I sat and I really marinated on the idea and I cringe at the thought, but I thought it would be very funny if I dove into the world of Tumblr to see if there's someone out there that has written a fan fiction or imagine about Chase Atlantic. I don't know how my brain is going to process any of it. I'm gonna go see if somebody let their freaky side out and just let loose. I'm kind of starting to regret this because I feel like I'm gonna find something that I'm not supposed to find, but like, it's okay. It's okay. Guys. Oh my god. There's so many. I can't. Oh. No. Oh my god, this is just... Ugh. Ah! <laughs> There's one called Slow Down Mitchell K by Crass Coconuts. Yes, ma'am! Guys, Wattpad, there's so many Chase Atlantic Imagines on Wattpad. I'm sick! This one is Chase Atlantic Imagines and Preferences from user I underscore am underscore Cassie. Let's go, sis. Go off. The first chapter is called How You Meet. So I guess this is like the preferences scenario. Yes. So first, Clinton. First of all, oh, it's just the three of them. Dang it. I thought it was going to be Jesse and Pat too. Hopefully we'll find that. Okay. You finally got to meet the boys at their concert with VIP tickets at a meet and greet. You hug all of them and take pictures with them, all as you try to hold in your excitement. As you get to Clinton, he hugs you tight for the picture and slips something in the pocket of your jeans. <laughs> Once you leave the venue, you pull it out. It's a piece of paper with his number on it. You know what? Christian. Oh, Jesus. You are in vacation. Yes, you are in it. You are in the vacation. Yes, ma'am. You are in vacation with your family at the beach. You see five boys goofing around a ways away, and you pretend not to notice them, even though the blonde skinny one clearly catches your eye. Moments later, he comes over and starts talking to you. Ah! Wow, this tall, skinny, blonde Australian boy is talking to you? Wow. He invites you to get a drink at a local smoothie bar and you talk for hours before exchanging numbers. Oh, that's actually really cute. Lastly, Mitchell. All right. <clears throat> You've known Jesse Boyle since high school and he invites you to a party after one of his concerts. Ew. You've never met his bandmates, but you've heard some of their music. He introduces you to them and Mitchell catches your eye. Can he see you through his long ass braids? Probably not. It wasn't just his braids, his style. But it was his confidence, the way his smile radiated around the room. He danced with you the whole night. Mitchell can dance? I must have missed something, Lord. I just see him jumping around. I just assume that's all he's got. Could you imagine if Chase Atlantic had, like, choreography for those shows? I... Oh my god, your first date. Yes. I want to know what my first date with Clinton's gonna be like. I just, I would like to know so I can prepare myself. Clinton. Clinton takes you to a drive-in theater to see a new horror movie, which he claims he loves. However, his face is nuzzled in your neck the entire time, and you can't help but laugh. Oh, stop! That's cute. Christian is so excited to finally take you on a date. He takes you to play laser tag, and he starts to pout when you keep winning. He finds you and pushes you up against a wall and gives you a big kiss. Jesus, we're playing laser tag. Why are you getting aggressive? And why are you kissing me? Hello? Hello? Then he shouts, you're going down, as he runs away. After, he takes you to a local ice cream shop in town, and you sit and talk for hours. First you want to, like, get all upset that I'm beating you at laser tag. Then you kiss me without me asking you to. And then you take me to ice cream? Make it make sense. Mitchell takes you to an amusement park for the day. You suggest the Ferris wheel, but he drags you to the tallest roller coaster because he's reckless. You ride every single ride with him over and over until it starts to get dark. At the end of the night, he wins you a giant teddy bear and kisses you goodnight. I love that. These are so cute. I don't know why I was expecting, like, your first day would be, like, sniffing cocaine off of his Nikes. I don't know why. I just assumed. <laughs> oh, 
the names in your phone. Yes. What is my name for Quentin? In his phone, Sunshine. Oh, that's so cute. You know what? He would do something soft and adorable like that. In your phone, Saxy Boy. That's funny. Sa that is funny. Get it? Because he plays a sax. In his phone, My Baby Girl with two hearts. <laughs> In your phone, Mr. Anthony love heart eyes. In Mitchell's phone, your little mama with a flame and a black heart. Ooh. Wow. Oh, uh, what did you do to earn that title, sis? And in your phone, daddy, ew. Ew. Taking you to hell has compiled Chase Atlantic smut. Some inappropriate thoughts I've had about Chase Lennon can be found here. Read at your own risk. All the stories are filthy. I love this, like, disclaimer. You've been warned. This book is, like, super dirty and not one chapter will be clean, so read at your own risk. This one's called Sex Ed Project with Clinton. I'm not ready at all. <clears throat> Let me get my narrator voice on. You sat in the back of your sex health class, staring at the clock, as you wished the day would end already, as your attention snapped to the teacher as he said your name. Deja and Clinton Cave. You had no idea what was going on, but you saw everyone get up and meet up with who they were paired with. You're Deja, right? He said in a monotone. Sorry. You shook your head. Yes, so this is... You mean nod your head? Okay. Do you want to do the project at my house? You raised your eyebrows as you shrugged. Oh, so he asked that. Oh, okay. Here, he ripped a piece of paper up and wrote down his address. Okay, I'll see you at my place after school. You nodded as the bell rang. Oh, love that. Okay. Mm. You knock on the red door as a guy with braids opened the door. You knew it was Mitchell. You had biology with him. Oh, yeah, the guy with braids in my biology class? Such an asshole. <laughs> Uh, hi, Deja, what you doing here? <laughs> he asked, confused, as Clinton walked into the living room. We have a project to do. Clinton motioned you to follow him upstairs. Upstairs? Why can't we do the project in the living room? Why do we gotta go upstairs? Are we going to your room? We're probably going to your room. He took a seat at his desk, and you put down your bag and sat on his bed. Yep, we're in his room. This is gonna escalate. Love that for me. I know I'm gonna sound like an idiot, but I didn't catch anything Mr. K said, so I have no clue what the project is. Honestly? me throughout high school okay that listen we have to study the process of how babies are made oh out of all projects not about like the fate of the universe climate change nothing else why but you know what he raised his eyebrows oh you mumbled but i'm a hands-on learner <laughs> He said he's a hands-on learner, guys. He's a hands-on learner. Ew. Ew. You felt your cheeks heat up as he closed his door. No. It took you by surprise as he pushed you down on his bed. His much larger frame hovered over yours. Your breath began to quicken as he connected y'all's lips. Y'all's lips have been connected, okay? It didn't take long for the kiss to turn into a heated makeout session. He slipped off your shirt as you did the same to him. His hands ran up and down your bare sides as he unhooked your bra. His hands freely roamed your chest as his kiss met your neck. You moaned softly into his, ha his hair? You didn't want to do that in his ear? What do I know? I guess his hair has ears. You tugged at his black jeans as he unbuttoned your shorts and slid them off, throwing them on his floor. This, mm. He moved his lips down from your neck to your chest as you let out another soft moan as his kisses continued to go down your stomach. He used his teeth to slide your thong down your legs. You resurfaced and connected, he resurfaced and connected his lips to yours again. Your hand slid down his boxers as he placed his head in the crook of your neck. You gasped as you felt him line up to your entrance. 
studio session Mitchell cave Ooh, a studio session <laughs> Mitchell took off his headphones for the fifth time in seven minutes put them back on we're not done you shouted to your boyfriend of seven months so specific I'm tired and hungry and making music is supposed to be fun going over the same lyric isn't fun Mitchell whined as he exited the booth fine we can take a small break you rolled your eyes and got up I need to adjust the mic anyways you head into the booth while Mitchell followed you why is he following you back to the booth? I thought he wanted to break. Oh, let me guess. Something is gonna happen. Wink, uh, uh, wink. Yeah, something's gonna happen. <laughs> so you turned around to see Mitchell's face extremely close to yours. Like what, this close? Was he like all up in your grill like this? You laugh as you peck him on the lips. He backed you against the booth's glass and put his hands on your hips. You dangled your arm around his shoulders as you kissed him once again. Thought you were tired and hungry, you raised your eyebrows as he let out a little laugh. Yeah, tired of working and hungry for you. He smirks. He slid his hands under your hoodie and slipped it off. He cupped your breast as he tried to pull as tried to pull him closer as if that was even possible. Yes, ma'am. Yo, Mitchell. Really in the booth, guys? Christian yelled as he grabbed your hoodie quickly off the ground and slipped it on with a laugh. You walked past Christian with a laugh and he rolled his eyes. Mitchell just stayed in the booth and smiled and shrugged at Christian. I mean, like, when you gotta get it in, you gotta get it in, I guess. <gasps> no! <laughs> there is a request for a threesome with Jesse and Clinton. I am not okay. This one's called punishment. No, this better not be some kind of a weird kinky thing. Jesus. You sat on the chair in front of the couch that Jesse and Clinton were sitting on. You know you were in big trouble. They caught you and Christian hooking up in the shower? Hello? Wait, is this like, are you like shared amongst the members of, dare I say me, because it's UN? Y, not UN, Jesus, YN, which stands for your name, and my name is Deja, so I'm putting myself in this. Am I being tossed around the group? I want to explain why you were with Curtis, Clinton said in his normal monotone voice. This is the second time I've heard like people say his voice is monotone, and it's... <laughs> you remain silent as you swallowed hard. Mitchell and Christian have Jordan. You are... Listen. <laughs> Mitchell and Christian have Jordan. You are ours. Jesse hissed as he pushed the hair out of his face. He would do it dramatic like that. You nodded quickly and kept your head low. Jesse walked over to you and lifted your head up with a finger to make you look him in the eye. You know what happens to girls that don't follow the rules. And no, I assume you're gonna tell me. They get punished. <laughs> Clinton also got off the couch. You tried to look back down, but Jesse cupped your cheeks. They get punished, he repeated what Clinton said. Clinton grabbed your arm, but you tried to yank it away. Please, I'm sorry. I'm yours, not theirs. I know. Please don't. Oh my god. Are they gonna, like, skin you alive? Listen. <laughs> I, like, the way this sounds, I fear for my safety because I feel like they're gonna skin me with, like, a butter knife. I don't know what's about to happen. You whined as Clinton pulled you up out of the chair. He jerked you to the bedroom with Jesse following close behind you two. Don't fight the punishment because you broke a rule? Jesse spoke as Clinton laid you on the bed. Please, guys, what is about to happen? I'm, like, fearing for my life at this point. <laughs> Clinton put a rag in your mouth as he tied your hands to the bed. They're gonna kill me. They gonna kill me dead. Wow. Well, <laughs> they about to kill me. <laughs> I love that. Baby girl, you know we wouldn't hurt you, but you broke the biggest rule. Clinton caressed your cheek as Jesse slid down your joggers. Y'all gotta be stopped. This is too much. He knew how much you hated giving blood. I just read the rest of that in my head and I'm so glad I didn't read it out loud. And on that damn note, I'm done. I'm literally done. I'm not reading anymore. That was... My, my questions were answered. There are some freaks out there that wish to do unholy things to Chase Atlantic and I don't think I'll ever be the same again. I hope 
to some degree you enjoyed this video because I didn't. If you did, give this a thumbs up for me, please, because I am now mentally scarred because of that. Until I see you guys again next time, I will catch you on the flip side, I guess. I really don't know what to do now.